What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty video, and this time we're going to be talking about a Call of Duty Modern Warfare remastered, so Call of Duty 4 being remastered for the Xbox One, and PS4, and also the PC, and uh, this information comes to us from a pre-order slash promotion card from Target of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and on this card it also gives us the release date for Infinite Warfare, but this card is for the Legacy Edition, which is most likely going to be like the Hardened Edition or Prestige Edition. Uh, but at the top it says it also includes Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And down at the very bottom it says Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game download. So this isn't just like a bonus um, tack on to Infinite Warfare. It's not just like a, a thing you would access at the menu. It is a full-fledged like separate download that you're going to download from uh, Infinite Warfare. So it looks as if we're going to get two games this year. We're going to get Infinite Warfare and we're going to get Modern Warfare. And this is really interesting, as right now as it stands, we're only getting Call of Duty 4, but some people are saying that they're, they might include Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 with it, which would be absolutely amazing. I really hope that they do, because it's kind of a shame if they only release one of the trilogy on to these new uh, generations of consoles and only remaster one of them. But at the same time, uh, I don't know if they're willing to put in all that time and effort to remaster all three games and work on a brand new one in three years. They probably have been able to do it, and I really think that they should. And remasters aren't the hardest thing in the world to do. It's a lot harder to create a brand new game, uh, especially with like, Call of Duty. Um, all you have to really do is just make new textures and then you know redo all the cutscenes and uh, do the audio again. But it's not all—it's not as hard as it is to make a brand new game. So it isn't an absolutely terrible thing. So it's not like they're making two games in one year. They're uh, more like making one and a half games in three years. So um, I really hope that they do all three games. With Black Ops 3, they've taken a lot of features like the the music tracks and the downloadable paint jobs and everything like that and they've put a lot of these things in as, as like extra content so uh not everything shipped with the disc so it seems that's the direction we're moving forward with call of duty whereas in the past everything uh, was included at the disc right at the very beginning so that way when you got the game that was the way the game was going to stay for pretty much all the time unless you bought like the dlc uh, map packs which were just maps but it seems now that we're actually getting like like more content and extra add-ons to our game um, just a few months after the release and stuff like that so it is possible that they might add in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 later or if they they could possibly include it with a season pass that would be an absolutely legendary season pass if they included two more games with it that would be amazing and if they uh, did that I would assume that they would combine all the multiplayers together uh, there are a lot of things that could go wrong here, and I'm probably going to make a separate video about that, just about um, what they have to do. They have to really nail this on the head if they're going to do this, but there you guys go. Um, I'm really excited about this. I love Call of Duty 4. I really want to see Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Like, you can't just put one game and on all three, but Infinity Ward is actually listening to us. Like, this is super awesome that... Um, Pretty much everybody was hating on Infinite Warfare, and it wasn't even announced. They were saying that they really don't want a space game, but now we're getting Call of Duty 4, which makes this the best of both worlds. So if you want all this futuristic bullcrap, you can go play Infinite Warfare. But if you just want, you know, your standard Call of Duty experience, then you can go and play Modern Warfare Remastered. So I really hope that they include Modern Warfare 2 and 3 in it, but I'll just be satisfied with Call of Duty 4. It's an awesome game. And uh, I think this is the best thing that Infinity War has done. They didn't really do a great job with Ghosts, but I really think that they're going to be trying to get back into good terms with the community now with Call of Duty 4 Remastered. And yeah, thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think of this in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.